Even before this morning's officer involved shooting, residents here said they woke up to what sounded like a demolition derby, but it was only minutes later that that ended in gunfire and one of their longtime neighbors dead. To go out like that was, was just pretty, pretty devastating. Sherman Johnson said he's known the man police shot since a teenager. I thought they were shooting a film over here. You know, you had that kind of stuff on the film. So I ain't worried about it. But when I heard my neighbor, that's what made me run out there. Oh, man, what's going on? His neighbor, according to police, crashed through his own fenced in driveway, then started ramming cars with his truck while damaging at least four houses in the process. When I first walked up and saw what he was doing, he was ramming the house on the corner of, of Flood and Charters there, the Yellow Devil. Fred Larson saw the whole thing while walking his dog. It was it was wild. Um, I just uh, I, I, I see you hear about it. You see it on the news on a daily basis. You don't think that you're ever going to be a block away from an incident like that. Police say it all began as a domestic dispute between the man and his wife, and a homicide detective working unrelated cases in the area was flagged down to help. That encounter turned into a physical confrontation, and the officer was then defended himself and had to fire his weapon. Following Officer Vernell Brown's memorial service, Chief Michael Harrison addressed the officer involved shooting, saying his detective had no choice but to shoot. He died at the scene. We had our cross ends, but at the end of the day, we, we, we still was neighbors. Federal monitors are assisting with the investigation that is ongoing. Reporting from the Lower Ninth Ward, Andy Cunningham, WDSU News.